friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be KonMari cleaning, organizing, and decluttering every single cabinet in my kitchen. Now my kitchen generally looks very decluttered and clean on all of the surfaces. I like to keep very minimal things out on my island, but where the clutter and major disorganization lives is inside every single one of these cabinets. This drawer, I can't even open. I can't open this drawer all the way. All right, so I'm gonna start with these front cabinets here. And in these, I keep a lot of my seasonal things and also dishes that I use when I'm entertaining, just because with the bar stools here, they're not as easily accessible. And they also go pretty far back, so it's great for just storing extra things. And I really don't like how I have everything kind of just thrown in here. So I'm gonna bring everything up on my island. And then from there, I'm just gonna sort and kind of organize see if there's anything that I want to donate or get rid of. Okay, and now that I got everything out of here, I'm just gonna use some multi-purpose cleaner and wipe everything down from the shelves to the inside of the cabinet doors. Now that I have everything out of the cabinets and up on the island, I'm gonna go through it, see if it's something that I'm using or something that maybe I should just donate. And then after I go through that, I'm just gonna organize these. Like I said, a lot of this is seasonal decor, so I'm just gonna group them into Christmas, Easter, and fall. I think there's a little bit of Valentine's Day in there as well. And then I also have things that I use only when I'm hosting. Now I am only putting hosting type products back in this cabinet. Everything is going to be in its own cabinet so I know exactly where it is. Another big tip when you are decluttering is to remove as many boxes or packaging that you can. This roasting pan was in a huge box that took up a ton of room and it made it really bulky. And I also couldn't really get a good idea of what was in there. So it looks so much better just being out of the box. My mom always buys the kids these really cute seasonal plates and bowls and I had them just all stacked up in one of these cabinets and I totally forgot they were here. So now I'm just gonna organize them by season as well. And I am just dying to know if you collect dishes and pottery or just a lot of seasonal items, where do you store them all? Because I swear if I didn't have these cabinets here under my island, I would be in huge trouble. I don't know where I would store this stuff. I already feel so accomplished just organizing these three cabinets, so now let's move on to all of the other ones. And I'm just gonna be doing the same KonMari inspired method by taking everything out and then going through it. And I say KonMari inspired method because I haven't really studied the full KonMari method, but I know the basic principle is just to pull everything out, really analyze each thing to see if it's something you use, if it brings you joy. So if it's not something that's serving a purpose, sentimental to you, or just making you happy in some way, then you should get rid of it and get rid of all of the extra clutter that is all over your house. And I know that this is going to make a huge difference for me in my kitchen because I have never done this before. I feel like I just hang on to everything even if I don't use it, I just try to find a cabinet to shove it in. You notice this mini little broom and dustpan? I found it at Publix the other day and I planned on dragging my big vacuum cleaner over here and like sucking all of the crumbs and stuff out, but I figured this would save me all of that effort and all of that time. And I don't know, I just love like mini versions of things. So I thought this thing was adorable and it really came in handy. It did a great job of just removing all of the dust and little crumb particles that were in all of these cabinets. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've 
job. Now that we're in the main part of my kitchen, this is where I store the kitchen items that I use every single day, if not every day, multiple times a week. So I'm trying to sort them into cabinets by kind of priority. So the strainers, the blender, these casserole dishes, they are things I use, but not necessarily every day. So I wanted to group them all together. Even though I'm wasting time, I don't want to be trapped in a box. I could be like the rest, but I'm not. I just want to go my own way. Gonna let the past burn down. And my pots and pans are something that I use pretty much every single day, so I'm putting those together. I was really fortunate that I had enough room in here where I could keep all the pots out and their lids on top so I didn't have to come up with a separate organization method for the lids. But I have seen a lot of cool like lid storage ideas that I did look into until I realized that I would probably have enough room to keep them all together. With you, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah, I'm on my way now. I cannot wait to tackle this under the sink mess and just really get a good idea of what I actually have down here. I am so guilty of just throwing things in there and losing track of exactly what I have, how much I have of it. So this is very necessary and it's really going to help me determine what I actually have and what I need. The way that I have these baby drawers organized is just a complete mess. I still have my breastfeeding stuff in here from when I was breastfeeding and since I'm not doing that anymore, it's obviously just taking up room and making a lot of clutter. And I also need to come up with a better way to just organize all of these bottles and all of these pieces. She's also starting to eat some baby puree, so I have bowls in here, some utensils for her. So right now I have all of the baby stuff kind of spread throughout two drawers drawers and I am going to try to minimize this so that I can fit everything neatly and organized into one. The next drawer I'm creating for my son, he is five years old and I have all of his utensils and cups and plates and all of that stuff down here so that he can help himself. He's very independent these days. And then I just realized I forgot to add the bibs, which will just not do. She is the messiest eater, so I need to go back in and add the bibs. We are done with all of the bottom cabinets and now we're moving on to the top. And this one I keep all of our everyday plates and bowls. And I'm also gonna be creating a second space where I keep all of my baby puree making things. I have my little food processor here, some glass jars, an apple corer, a steamer. And then I also have a popsicle mold that Miles and I love to use. We love to make seasonal popsicles and things like that. Myself, I'm gonna start over new. Another space that's really gotten out of hand is our medicine cabinet and I have these three baskets here. I'm just going to be sorting them into the kids medicines and then for the adults I'm going to have a separate basket for like allergy medicine, cold medicine, and then one for just everyday vitamins. And the spice drawer, what a disaster. We're just going to speed through this so you can't see just how unorganized it was before. Um, I feel like people are either very organized with their spices or it just looks like a hot mess like mine did. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have your spices in a very organized manner or is yours just kind of all thrown in there? And 
and how I'm organizing our cups is the lower section. I'm adding all of our everyday like glassware and mugs and then the second one is going to be a lot of water bottles and just kind of like extra mugs and on top is like champagne glasses, wine glasses, and things like that. Cabinets are done and we're moving on to these pull-out drawers which are the messiest of all. This drawer was just supposed to hold like my Ziploc bags, my saran wrap, my tin foil, and I do not know what happened here but definitely have to go in here and do some major decluttering. I don't know if you guys can see the overwhelming amount of pens that we have, but my husband brings them home from work every single day. I don't know what to do with all of these pens. I don't know if there's somewhere that I can take them and donate, but we have hundreds of pens in our house. My utensil drawer wasn't that bad. I mostly just wanted to get everything out of there so I could clean the drawer itself. I do want to just kind of spruce it up a little bit, but I didn't think the organization in here was terrible. This is definitely the most organized of all of my drawers. And this tiny drawer is just where I keep my oven mitts and my dish towels and all of the utensils that I don't want to be left out. I mentioned this in a video before and so many people had the same thing. Whenever my husband helps me unload the dishwasher, he always puts these utensils out. And these are my drawer utensils, which basically just means they aren't as aesthetically pleasing as the other ones. So I like to keep them in this drawer. This is our junk drawer and it is so packed full of junk I can't even open it all the way and it started spilling over as you saw into our other cabinets. So I need to go in here and really declutter and just give this space a better organization system. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Oh my gosh, we are on the last drawer. Who is still with me? This drawer is a little tool drawer of just like everyday things that we use around the house. I have my box cutter in here, a little hammer, some screws and just nails and things like that. So again, I'm just taking everything out, deciding what we need and just reorganizing so it makes more sense and we can see what we have in here clearly. Without any thought, I keep moving on. I don't even care if my soul is gone Ooh. So many words that I should have said Not concerned about how to live instead Just open your eyes and take my advice Stop pulling the dice and just compromise It's the chance of your life
I am so happy to be done. I feel so much more organized. That was definitely a big project, but I feel so good. Everything you see here is just things that I either need to throw away, I'm going to move to a different space in our home, or I'm going to donate. And this is quite a bit of things to just have been shoved into drawers or laying around. Definitely enough to have caused some of this clutter. So I'm really happy that I did this KonMari method and just pulled everything out so I could see it and really put some thought into each piece instead of just assuming because I have it, it needed to stay here. And this was actually very therapeutic for me. I want to do this in other areas of my home as well. So if you guys are interested and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that red subscribe button because I have two closets that desperately need the KonMari method. Also my master bedroom. I'm doing a huge makeover in there and I would love to do this method as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate your support. Make sure you go ahead and follow me over on Instagram where I give more daily updates and things like that. I also announce when videos are going to be posted and I'll do polls as to what types of videos you want to see next on my channel. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!